What's up guys? Welcome back to Yak Slashers. Hope everyone is having a great Monday. Um, I'm finishing up my work day and I figured I'd pull the yak out of the garage and put it in the grass and show y'all everything what I got going on right now. Um, I'm still missing a few things to the pie or a few things. I'm missing a few pieces to the puzzle. Um, that sounds a little bit better um, to be able to have it basically completely rigged out besides a few things here and there um it's looking pretty pretty killer i'm, I'm excited to show y'all i'm still waiting on my sea deck it should get here tomorrow by the end of day so i'm really looking forward to that and uh i'm trying i'm trying to figure out how this iphone x works um it's new to me i still understand how if i'm recording how to flip the camera back over where y'all can see what i'm looking at so i guess i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research a little bit of googling and uh figure out that but um i'm gonna flip the camera back around and show y'all everything that i got laid out on it and how i have it set up right now it's kind of set up for lakes um but i'm only taking a few things off when i hit the river um like my my graph my battery box and a few things here and there so it's really that that little it's really not that big of a difference between lake versus river but let me just show you what i got going on see what y'all think of it and there she is the good old flint baby it is starting to look like my dream rig right there. Got the bending branches set up. But guys, so I'm basically going to go from back to front and kind of show you all how everything I got set up. As you can see, I kind of got everything I'm using right now on the boat. And I've, I've uh, added a few things here and there from my last video. So, or basically from it getting from the, uh, from the shop from good old Westbrook. So let's go ahead and start from the back and kind of go from there. On the back of the boat, as you can see, um, I got my... I'm using it as a drag chain. I got my anchor wizard that's actually right next to my seat. I'll show you out in a minute, but I got the the cord just running out the back of the hole because um, I went in the river last time and didn't really need an anchor, and so I was just using it as a drag chain. Um, and uh, so I got that just running off the back. Um, whenever I get the tube, I'm probably going to mount the tube somewhere around in here. Um, I only got the the crank. That's what I'm going with. I only got the crank and. Um, so whenever I get the two, I'll probably run off there, but this is working great. I don't necessarily use an anchor trolley that much. So this is, this is kind of works perfect for me. Um, I have nothing in my dry hatch whatsoever. Um, in case I need to access it for plug and play or anything like that down the road, that's kind of what I'm just going to leave that alone. I might put a cooler or something back here when I'm going out on a long day. And then I got the new canoe black pack, um, with all my rods set up in it. This is basically how it comes from new canoe. Um, you got all these little mighty mounts just sitting around where you can mount cameras to. Um, and the cool thing I like about this, and I'm sure everyone's seen it, but on the Yak Attack Black Pack, the, the hinges aren't, they're just, they're rope and it's, it flops around. This one, the hinges stay wherever you want them. I really like that feature. I just have my basic tackle in there, the stuff I take out. Um, and then I have, this is pretty cool. I've never really used them before. Um, I've seen them on rod holders before, but I just put my pliers down in there. Holds them pretty good. Um, I don't travel with this attached to the butt. I always put it in the back of the truck, so I don't really have to worry about that that falling out. And I got it tight with the, uh, uh, let me see, with the nylon webbing just attached to the track. Um, so that, that's a cool little feature to have. Uh, moving on down, this is my anchor wizard like I was telling you about. Um, I attach my drag chain. All it is is a log, log chain. Um, I think it's right at two foot long. I attach it straight to that carabiner. Let's see if I can do this one-hander. Nope, I can't. But uh, I really love the mechanism in this anchor wizard. It is pretty freaking fantastic. Um, you just pop it, pop it one time and it drops it down and then you just crank it right back up and it tighten itself. As you can see, um, so that's a cool little feature. I added this, uh, this is a Yak Attack Mighty Melt XL because I really wanted my, I didn't want my anchor wizard to be down the floorboard or up near my dash. I kind of want it real easy, easy access, but definitely being in the river um, where I can winch it up, winch it down, whatever I need to do. Um, so that, that, I really love it. I've never had an anchor wizard. I've always wanted it. I am thrilled to finally have one on my boat and it is a necessity now to me. I will always have, if I ever get a new boat or whenever I get a new boat, I will always have an anchor wizard on there. As you can see, I did the old DIY seat rise. This thing, I've, I've kind of picked my brain about it. Yes, it don't look the prettiest up under there, but it's strong, it's solid, and it holds. I um, might be able to see it a little bit better from this angle. But I'm sitting um, from the top of the seat from right here down to the deck. That's about 10 inches. 10 inches of lift to that sucker right there. 
And I've noticed for me personally, it has not affected me on the water whatsoever. Um, it has worked phenomenally um, and it has, it has excelled. I was kind of worried being a little bit raising my center of gravity up that high, but it, it's, this boat has handled it, at least for me and in, in my opinion. Um, just real quick, I am gonna do an in-depth video on this, but just real quick, um, that is the new canoe, um, just basic seat right, or seat lift kit. Um, it's just those two little plastic pieces. Then I added two rubber stoppers that you can get at any Ace Hardware, hardware store, um, pretty fairly cheap. And then I added a longer bolt, I can't remember the size of it, um, to run through all of this. Um, I believe it was an eight inch bolt. So it fit everything in there. And whenever I was initially just gonna stop it at the rubber stoppers, um, but I've noticed that, as you can see, I have a lot of a lot of hangover from my bolt. So I had to take up a lot of that as much as I could. So I just took an old cutting board that you can get from Walmart for about 50 cents, um, cut it in half, painted it black, and then um, there's two on each of them. Um, yes, they're not cut straight. Um, I did it with skill saw, so. But it, but it works, I mean, it is solid. Um, there's no, there's really no play into it whatsoever. I am completely satisfied with that seat rise. I can have room to put tackle up under there and anchor up under there. Whatever I want, I can fit right up under their seat. Cause typically I have two worm bags. Um, I don't have the other one out here. It's just another Academy Sports worm bag. And I just put it right there behind the seat while I keep the other one in my in my black pack. And then I'll obviously I'll take the two, the two main tackle boxes I'm using typically my terminal tackle and my crank baits, spinner baits, stuff like that. I'll put it in my, in the tackle storage right there on the deck. So moving on. So that's pretty much it um, from this, this portion back. Those are the main add-ons I did. Um, we're about to move up to the dash. I did a little bit more add-ons there, but um, oh, and then on this side, I just have my lip grits attached to that little cleat right there. Um, they come in handy. It's on a little bungee cord and these actually glow in, glow in the dark. My caribou noise isn't all the way on. Um, they actually go in the dark, so um, they really come in handy when I'm not fishing. Obviously, you got your stock new canoe <clears throat> handles that hold your paddle, as you saw on the other side. You got a clean deck. That's how I like it. Short, sweet, and simple. I don't want a lot of room messing. You know, I don't. I don't want to be stepping on my stuff like I did in my other boats. Um, like I told you from the start, this is going to be simple as possible. And I'm trying to get the best angle I can. But since I have the phone in landscape mode, it, it kind of keeps flipping on me. But moving on, this is just the um, the slide mount from New Canoe. I got this with the boat. Y'all saw this already. Um, I got my little Pan Fisherman um, camera mount <clears throat> by Yak Attack. And then I have my Lawrence HGS5. As you can notice, I have a bigger... Um, Yak attack dog bone or ram. I can't remember which one it is um, So I didn't want it sitting straight up in the air So I kind of folded it back and it keeps everything clean and kind of pushed back where it's not in my way um, I haven't ran into no issues whatsoever with it so far. So I'm running with it Got my battery box right there and what the issue I had with my battery box when I first took it out is Yes, this fits tight up in there, but it kept sliding around a little bit here and there So I just took a gear tie. These things are fantastic always have them on your boat. They're cheap Short, simple, strong. I mean, that sucker's in there now. It's not going nowhere. Um, it rattles the whole boat when you try to pull that out. Um, it keeps it tight, keeps it clean, and that's what I like to see. I don't want to get hung up when I'm on the river or whatever it might be. Now I just got my two cords running out to my back of my HDS5. And obviously my wonderful hog trough, GKF hog trough with the Westbrook's. Look at that right there. Westbrook's a block company with the GKF hog trough. Paired together, baby. Sweet. And moving on to the big bad yak attack switchblade. This 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 tool, this mechanism, this this transducer holder is fantastic. The the little things that you can tweak on this thing is pretty darn cool. I've already changed it up three times just to try to fit my needs the best. But basically, this thing you all these knots in it and the in these buckles, it just they all move on it throughout the whole thing. You can pull it inside and pull it outside and obviously I got to tighten my t-bolt up a little bit but um so basically I have it right now I just have it parked up where I'm not dragging the ground or anything like that and that's how it's gonna ride until I get to where I want to drop my transducer down and basically all you do if you notice it turns at the at the at the mount down here the the handle just turns and you can drop it straight down and also on this thing no matter what you know how deep or 
or big your boat is, you can move up your transducer as much as you want to. And also, right here, I haven't did it yet, and I probably won't because there's not really a lot hanging off there. But say you scoot, say, <clears throat> excuse me, say you scoot your pole in a whole lot more, um, you can actually take a hacksaw or something like that, just a little saw, and saw the rest of that, you know, hanging off. But you know, I, I'm gonna, I'm still playing with it and finagling it, so I'm, I'm just keeping it on there um, in case I do need it. Um, and it, it works great. I've used it twice already, and it, this is a cool little feature. Um, I had the Ram transducer mount on my last, on my Pursuit, and I mean, it worked great. It, it got in the way a little bit. There was a little bit of tinkering that still needed to do to it, but this thing is tough, and it, it's a pretty cool little contraption. There's the word, contraption. That's it right there. But guys, that is pretty much it. Like I said, my sea deck is coming in tomorrow. I'm really looking looking forward to that that's gonna make this thing just pop just freaking just boom it's gonna be awesome i am truly looking forward to it it's gonna be great um and that is that's a wrap for the little walkthrough that i want to show you like i said i've only added a few little things to it the slide mount i order with my boat um the the battery box obviously my fish finder the yak attack switch blade the anchor wizard the Yak Attack Mighty Melt XL. That's kind of what all I've added onto it. Um, and that's all I need. Basically, my boat is decked out to the max how I want it. And I don't, because I don't want a lot of, lot of crap on there. I don't want to be moving a lot of stuff. Short, sweet, and simple. It works out perfect for me. And this boat handles phenomenally in lakes and in rivers. I went on the lake after I went to the river that day. And it worked like a champ. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's a wrap. It is a wrap for the new canoe flint decked out the way I want it. Short, sweet, and simple. It is a great boat. I love it. Tracks phenomenally. Stability will blow your mind. I am telling you, yes, it's a little boat. It's a great throw and go little boat. That stability is going to blow your mind. I can already tell you the way it tracks, the way it turns, turns on a dime turns on a dime guys it is a great boat i absolutely love it i am so thrilled and i'm going to keep saying it to be back in the new canoe family i've never been happier with this boat and and this isn't a sales pitch this is straight coming from the heart i've been through quite a few boats had a lot of ups and downs and this this has truly changed my game completely the fishing game has turned up baby turned up but guys, everything that I got on this boat, including the boat itself, you can all get at Westbrook Supply Company. Go down to Atlanta, see Fletch. Just make it a day trip because I'm telling you, when you walk into his store, you're going to be mind blown. Your mind is going to be blown just about all the stuff he has, everything to try out, look at, so on and so forth. If you ever want to demo a boat, just let him know when you're down there. Give him a call. He'll set you up, get you all squared away. He'll take out all the boats he has in the shop if he has to, to make you, you know, completely satisfied. He's a great guy. He is a true fisherman and a true, just great person at heart. And he'll go above and beyond for anybody, guys. But if you need any accessory, any new boat, anything like that, go check out Westbrook Supply Company. Go see Fletch. Great guy. Like I just said, I'm going to keep telling he's a great guy because he truly is. He has hooked a brother up and made me completely satisfied. And uh, no, matter, no, matter what, no matter what you need, He'll take care of you 100%, guys. Check him out, westbrooksupplycompany.com. I'm going to get off here, try to get this video uploaded to you as fast as I can, guys. I know y'all been looking at it. But, guys, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. See you on the river next time, guys. Stay classy. Keep some tight lines. Deuces.